First of all, congratulations to Andrew, the World Resource Institute, and all of its partners on the launch of Global Forest Wars 2.0. It's a fantastic tool which will foster transparency, force accountability, and facilitate partnerships. All, obviously, are urgently needed in the battle against deforestation. And it's a battle we must win, since deforestation alone is responsible for about 17% of greenhouse gas emissions and has a dramatic impact on the global climate ecosystem and biodiversity. Deforestation also poses a material risk to businesses like Unilever. In fact, about half of all of our raw materials come from either farms or forests. Now, that is why Unilever has set a target to source 100% of its agricultural raw materials sustainably by 2020, not a year too soon. Traceability is central to ensure that the palm oil we use is produced, indeed, to the highest standards. As we build visibility on where the products we source are coming from, Global Forest Watch will provide us the information we urgently need to make the right decisions. Now, we've seen the power of transparency with the recent encouraging commitments from companies like Wilmar and Sinamas. I believe we're on the first of beating deforestation. With Global Forest Watch, we now have information and are no longer hindered by simply not knowing. It will allow us to hold ourselves accountable and deliver against our commitments. I certainly encourage all governments, NGOs, businesses to engage with Global Forest Watch and become an early partner. It is a well-known fact that Indonesia has the third largest tropical forest in the world. It's also a well-known, acceptable fact that climate change is upon us. The problems that is created by that is a global problem that will demand a global solution. The President of Indonesia, His Excellency Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono, has made it clear in his historical statement made in 2009 that Indonesia is committed to reduce its own emission by 26%, which reflect actually a national commitment, and 41% with the international support, which reflect the international cooperation notion of the global climate change issue. The importance of forest and landscape for that matter, for Indonesia, make that commitment dominate, dominantly uh, defined by how we manage the forest and the landscape. 83% of that 41% reduction is actually supposed to come from the issue of forest actions in the area of, of forest and uh, landscape for that matter. The Global Forest Watch program breathes the same notion that it is both a global issue and also of a national interest. The watching of the forest, the input for decision about it, and the policy implication that relate to those decisions. I commend the Global Forest Watch initiative and will continue support and expect that it will be an effective tool for the world and each nation such that we will collectively leave neglect and ignorance as identified in Stockholm 1972, a thing of the past. Forests are key to the survival of important species, including, of course, the chimpanzee and a rich diversity of other animals and plants. They also provide us with fresh air, clean water, food and medicine, and they absorb and sequester CO2 from the atmosphere, thus slowing down global warming. Wonderful advances in recent years in the use of satellite data and technology have empowered communities to monitor their own forests. 
Global Forest Watch connects the best of these systems, pulling all of this technology together on a single platform that provides access to high quality data for the entire world. It will dramatically benefit all those working to protect our forests. The Jane Goodall Institute and Global Forest Watch are working together by sharing data. Together we can tell a story showing how access to better information about the overall picture helps decision-making on the ground. We at JGI have proof of this with our own projects. Global Forest Watch will help us identify new threats to chimpanzees and prioritise our conservation efforts. As we work with local communities to collect data on the health of their forests, this will enrich the information on the Global Forest Watch platform. We're very, very happy to be a key partner in this exciting project.